Picture this. You're walking along a pristine Caribbean beach in Mexico. Crystal clear waters stretch as far as the eye can see, and you think you know all the secrets these tropical islands hold. But what if I told you that right under your nose, ancient creatures have been living in secret for decades, fooling even the world's most experienced scientists? A discovery has just been revealed that will completely change our understanding of Mexico's wildlife. We're talking about predators that survived the dinosaurs, witnessed the rise and fall of entire civilizations, and now... Well, now they're facing a very real risk of disappearing forever. What happened on the islands of Cozumel and Banco Chinchorro will shock you. For decades, researchers believed they perfectly understood a species that lives from California all the way down to Venezuela. These aquatic predators are masters of camouflage, can remain completely motionless for hours, and have a bite force that rivals the biggest predators on Earth. But something very strange has been happening on these two small Mexican islands. When scientists started collecting DNA samples from these animals, the results were so surprising, they had to redo the tests multiple times. Jose Avila Fervantes, the researcher who led this discovery at McGill University, said the results were totally unexpected. Imagine the surprise. You think you're studying a species that's been known for decades, and suddenly you discover you're actually looking at something completely new. These creatures live in populations of just 500 individuals each. To give you an idea of how small that is, a typical high school has more students than the entire population of one of these species. What makes this discovery even more fascinating is how these animals manage to stay hidden for so long. They're not in some remote forest or underground cave. No, they're living on islands that receive thousands of tourists every year. Cozumel is a world-famous tourist destination. Divers from across the globe visit its crystal-clear waters. Banco Chinchorro is an atoll just a few hours by boat from the Mexican coast. How is it possible that two entire species went unnoticed in such accessible locations? The answer lies in the most subtle details of these predators' anatomy. The differences are so small that only advanced genetic analysis could detect them. We're talking about variations in skull shape, snout length, differences the human eye would hardly notice. Hans Larsen, the biology professor who supervised the research, said something that gave me chills. Biodiversity is disappearing faster than we can discover what we're losing. This means there are probably other species out there, right in front of us, that we haven't discovered yet. Before I reveal exactly what creatures these are and why this discovery is so important, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss the upcoming videos about scientific discoveries that are changing our understanding of the natural world. We're talking about crocodiles. Yes, crocodiles. Two new crocodile species that were hiding in plain sight in the Mexican Caribbean. For decades, everyone believed these reptiles were simply American crocodiles, a well-known species distributed across 18 different countries. But genetic analysis revealed that the populations on Cozumel and Banco Chinchorro are so genetically distinct that they actually represent completely separate species. To understand the magnitude of this discovery, it's like finding out that wolves in Alaska are actually a completely different species from wolves in Canada. We're talking about a complete reshuffling of the evolutionary tree of these ancient predators. What impresses me most is that these crocodiles evolved independently on these isolated islands. They're true survivors, adapting to the specific conditions of each location over thousands of years. The discovery didn't happen overnight. Researchers had to carefully capture these crocodiles to collect blood and tissue samples. Imagine the work. You're dealing with predators that can be over 10 feet long, with a bite force of over 3,000 pounds per square inch, and you need to do this without harming them. After releasing the animals back to their habitat, Scientists compared the DNA of these populations with crocodiles from throughout Central America and the Caribbean. 
What they found was such a clear genetic separation that there was no doubt. They were looking at distinct species. But it wasn't just genetics that told the story. Researchers also analyzed physical differences. The crocodiles from Banco Chinchoro have longer and broader snouts compared to those from Cozumel. These are adaptations that reflect thousands of years of independent evolution. What this teaches us about evolution is fascinating. When populations become isolated, even if geographically close, they start following different evolutionary paths. It's nature experimenting, creating unique solutions to specific challenges. Now comes the part that worries me. These two species are in an extremely vulnerable situation. With only 500 individuals each, any catastrophic event could extinct these lineages that took thousands of years to form. And the risks are very real. Coastal development is rapidly advancing in these regions. Hotels, marinas, tourist complexes are transforming the natural habitats of these crocodiles. Water pollution is affecting the entire food chain these predators depend on. Tourism, while bringing economic benefits, also represents constant pressure on these fragile ecosystems. Each new construction, each alteration to the coastline could be the difference between survival and extinction for these species. Hans Larsen was direct. Now that we recognize these crocodiles as distinct species, it's crucial to protect their habitats. Limiting development and implementing careful conservation strategies will be key to ensuring their survival. The irony is cruel. We discovered these species at the exact moment they may be most threatened in history. This discovery makes us question how many other species might be hiding in plain sight. If crocodiles in popular tourist destinations manage to go unnoticed for so long, imagine what might be waiting to be discovered in more remote regions. Scientists estimate that most of the planet's species haven't been catalogued yet. We're in a race against time, trying to document biodiversity before climate change and human pressure make it disappear forever. This discovery also highlights the importance of modern genetic technology in biology. Without DNA analysis tools, these species would probably remain unknown for more decades. It's a powerful reminder that our planet still holds secrets, and that each scientific discovery can completely change our understanding of the natural world. The discovery of two new crocodile species in Mexico reminds us that nature can still surprise us. Even in our age of satellites and internet, ancient creatures can keep their secrets until the right moment to be revealed. But this discovery also carries a responsibility. Now that we know these species exist, it's up to us to ensure they continue existing for future generations. If you found this story fascinating, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more surprising scientific discoveries like this one and make sure to watch the next video I prepared especially for you. It's about a discovery that will completely change your perspective on the world of predators. See you next time.